let's be abundantly clear. When he asked me to marry him, he prefaced it. He went to get back in the truck mm -hmm. and he said, this isn't the most romantic way to do this. And I immediately started crying because I knew what was happening only because he referenced being romantic. That's how infrequently he is romantic. Did he ever tell you what he was supposed to do um, when he proposed? No. Jason, you Go never ahead, told her what you had planned? Look at him. He doesn't remember. No, you cannot. Don't you <laughs> act like you're going to forget this, Jason. Did you, you tell Travis? I, apparently I did. Yes. He told me like <laughs> a week in advance that he was going to wait for your family to come over. There was something that your father did uh, for Lisa actually, that um, that he thought was very Philly-esque and very unique. So he was going to, it was either sing you a song or serenade in the front lawn, maybe? In South Philly, they, they do like this a thing. Serenade. Yeah, they do a serenade, but it's more after they're already engaged. We, I did briefly Before think the about wedding. that idea. Mm -hmm. I did briefly. Uh, I asked you how you were going to do it, and that's how you said you were going to do it. Did he explain how my dad proposed to my mom? Because if he did I, that plan, I don't quite remember. I thought he did. Was it? Uh, was it along you those lines? Air this out? I don't know if you want to air this out. But. Okay, All right. well, <laughs> we'll keep that one in the vault. It was. Uh, he didn't serenade you. No, no, no. You are such a fucking coward, Jason. You said we were just. I, I went into the house that we were already at with uh, Ed and Lise. I went in, asked. Ed and Lise for the permission to to ask for Kylie's hand in marriage. Do you want me to tell them actually what happened when I told you to get back out of the car? Please, Kylie, can you take this over? Can you take this over? I told, listen, so we were there and I was trying to do this because I wanted to get it done before training camp. And I wanted to be engaged. We were, we were already a week into training camp. So there were some scheduling reasons. <laughs> scheduling and issues. I was in the car and I was too, and I couldn't <laughs> figure out, I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out how to <laughs> inconspicuously go back into the house because like if I went in there, I was like, Hey, I got to go talk to your dad for a second. It would have been very odd of me to say that. So when we got in the car, I said, man, I, Kai, I'm sorry, but I got to take a shit no, right you now. I no, can't. you said I have to go to the bathroom. And I, gotta, I was like, great, go in because we're not turning back around. Yeah, okay. Nice. Because at this point we were visiting my parents. We lived 30 minutes away from where they lived. Yeah. yeah. And we had already gotten the dog in the car. Yeah. So we were committed. We were leaving. Yeah. And he went inside. He was only in there for maybe two minutes. Yeah. And he came back out. And I said to him, Jason, go back in there and go to the bathroom. I know you didn't just go in there and take a shit. It usually takes you 20 minutes. Yeah. That was not long enough. And we are not turning around. And then he started crying. And then he said, this is, not, this the is not the most romantic way to do this. But can you get out of the truck? But the whole shit thing was just a ploy. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, man. Way to. <laughs> hey, hey, so hey. Sweet. At least you did it, bud. Hats off, hey. man. Yeah. Hats off. Sorry. That'll, that'll Sorry. be on my gravestone. Every day. Sorry, that'll yeah. be on my gravestone. Hey. At least he did it. Now, he now every time you tell her you got to use the bathroom, <laughs> it is, he, she knows it's just a ploy. <laughs> yep.